Welcome back to another episode on Adventures with Vinny. So today I have brought you to the wonderful Beach Bottom Dyke, which is a 2000 year old scheduled ancient monument. The massive ditch and bank at this point forms part of the pre-Roman earthwork which runs from the Belgic city of Viridium to Wheat Hampstead. It dates between 50 BC and 50 AD. So yeah, come on this journey with me people. It's steep, you wouldn't want to slip and fall down there, I'm telling you. And what down there appears, it, it has just started raining. So how steep that bit is, though, look. It's so damn peaceful. Can hear the birds in the background chirping away. The rain slowly coming down, hitting the floor. So up here it looks like it gets safer to walk really. Especially when it's raining, this is gonna get really muddy and slippery. But I am on the way to town and I will be bypassing the old abandoned fire station. So if my battery lasts, then I will get that in this video somewhere. But I hope everyone's all right. Hope everyone's looking forward to Easter. <laughs> Charlie Beach, some people would say not allowed, but you know what? There you go. So I'm just following it on the way to town, basically. Go this way. Be sensible for once, Vinny. <laughs> and there's the bottom all the way down there. Jeez. Wouldn't like to be riding a bike through here and the wheel clogs or something. Can you end up spinning out and slipping all the way down there? And as it's getting hotter and warmer and approaching summer, the old hay fever has crept up and said hello which is annoying. So I think I'm going to double up on loads of allergy tablets, paracetamol as well, eye briefing. Yeah. 
keep myself well really didn't realize how long this was or how big it was to be honest when you walk down the roadway towards town it don't seem that long but walking through yeah yeah it's longer than that as well because when we come in where i read that sign we could have turned right and carried on walking all the way up that way we've turned left someone's glove Squelch, squelch, squelch. Wonder if that's where the trees have overgrown and it's broken the fence or whether someone's kicked it through. But yeah, here's a better view. Even got a part of the fence down there. Someone's initials. So, so far it's took me 6 minutes and 20 seconds to walk through here. That's with stopping and reading and showing the signs as well. No. Yeah, I think we're coming to the end because I can hear the traffic and yeah, see cars just up there. So yeah, turn left at Harvester. Carry on walking, you'll come to these gates. Carry on walking down this path. Literally 30 seconds away from the gates. For me that is anyway, but I'm a quick walker, so. All right. I will show you what this used to be. And then you carry on walking straight down this path. And just up here, we'll bring you out to the Pioneer Club, which is next door to the abandoned old fire station. There it is. So I'm gonna keep filming. It's only literally there. They've got fencing on that part but yeah this used to be the fire station which has now moved and it's on London Road and it's St Albans Community Fire Station now K9 Patrol
So I don't actually think there is a way in. It looks like they've put all these fences in here. And a lot more security. But there's the tower where they would have gone and trained. I'm guessing that was probably people that lived on site. Yeah, it looks like you can't get into it. But I'll go up here and see if there's another way in. There's a hole in the fence there, but they've put another fence behind it. Could probably get in a squeeze down there though. Yeah, that's the back of the old fire station. Can't really see it. as best as I can do for you lot, sorry. That's a shame really. All right, let's head off into town, seeing as I am five minutes away from there. And sadly, Dave's Tasty Bites is closing after 40 years. Awesome burgers, amazing burgers.